Top of the time zone, everybody. This is Freddie J here with Freddie J Sports, and we're back with NASCAR Fight to the Top mode. But it's 2023 for NASCAR 06 Total Team Control. Really appreciate y'all for coming out, and if y'all like this kind of content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. What we got going on here is we finally made it this uh, episode 9. We finally made it to the Bush Grand National Series. And the reason why I said it all like that, because uh, I was looking at some old videos, uh, trying to find some sports anthems for my channel that I'm going to be currently working on. Uh, that's what the official name of it was. And uh, after winning our first two races, we're now going to the Michigan 250. Uh, we're going to go ahead and qualify here. Two laps, purse of $32,000 almost. And for the race, our first race in September. I kind of want to go ahead and get started here. Maybe we're going to get some autograph signings. No, not yet. But yeah, you can see it. Two wins, two top fives, and two top tens. Now, this is going to be interesting here because Michigan has been a track that I have been known to have trouble on. So I really hope that this is not the case this time. Again, I have no control of the setup of this car, minus the gear ratios and everything on this screen. I can't improve my car like I would if I owned the team. So we're just going to have to do with what we got here. I'm going to go ahead and practice a little bit. Going to do two laps around. And then after that, uh, we're going to go ahead and qualify. Qualifying should not be the case of difficulties. It's just mainly just trying to get around this track. Because getting around this track is going to be very hard. Uh, because this car, every time I race here, I'm known to slap the wall pretty hard. So I'm going to try to figure out the pattern here and how to race this thing once and for all so that way I could be better because I would like to get a win at Michigan. I'm going to ease off the brakes here, drive it down home. But you see I'm still drifting up here and that may be a little bit too much close, too close for comfort actually. Headed to the line now, here's lap one. Again, this is not qualifying. This is practice. I'm just going to only do a, do a couple laps of practicing. I'm going to ease up off the throttle here. Whoa. I don't think that was a good idea because that, as soon as I let go, the, the car just spun. So uh, let's go ahead and try braking now. I don't like using the brakes. I'm not sure how well I feel about that. But this car loves to turn left. Granted, this is a left-turning racetrack, but I think it's turning a little bit too much to the left than I would like. That time I stay low on the apron. Let's see if I get a better lap. But I'm drifting up a bit too high, but it works out for me. So I could be on the high side during the back stretch. Let's see if I get a better lap. It looks like I'm not going to get a better lap. I think I pressed the brakes too much. And that may have cost me a, a bit of time there. Oh, never mind. All right. Maybe that was a little bit too much brake that time. Let's see how this one ends up. Halfway, even though it's three laps. Oh, see, I didn't like how that was turning a little bit too much right there. Ooh, a little bit too high there. Man, that was a close call. Let's see what we get at the line. All right, looks like we're still making back good laps. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this strategy, but uh, I think it'll be better than 
I don't know where this car come from. But they're definitely going to get me on the high side here. Whoa. I think I may have lost some ground right here. So it looks like we got about five. A little tap on the brakes this time, and I'm staying up. Might have to press the brake a little bit one more time. Oh, my goodness. Well, I have no idea how... I, I don't know how to handle this, because... Uh, I could get there. It's just a matter of how do I keep this thing from... Spinning. Because I'm spinning. Turning left. That's that's the main thing I'm having an issue with. So we can do it in two laps. We just have to adjust our handling for the race. I don't want to break that hard, but uh, we're going to be shooting for a time of 40 seconds around there. If we get 40 seconds, we're, I think we should be in the clear as long as nobody else like tries to crack sub-39. Right, go. So far, so good. We're looking at the top 10, but we're going to smack the wall right here, and that's going to drop us a bit was looking at that this is our last shot yeah we're we're going into this turn a bit too hard and we're we're looking at dead last right now well we might get 41st or something but it's not looking good if 40 isn't not a oh my goodness All right, better lap. Oh, that exit's going to hurt. Oh, we saved it so much. We saved it, but that's not going to be good. We got to do something big here. Looks like we qualified 40. If what was the times? Yeah, they were doing 39, and we was not getting up there. So this is something I'm going to be doing different. I'm going to increase our handling. By adjusting our springs. I'm going to lose some tire wear. Let's check out our downforce. either going to mess us up really bad or we're just going to have a really good race car but again those are the only things i could do so we're just going to hope that we we get we uh 
make those adjustments because I, I was not expecting for that to end like that. But here we go. Going to go straight into it. 10 laps, 32,000. The purse is 32,000. It's going to be split, but, you know, evenly. And then uh, the owner is going to get a cut. I'm going to get a merchandiser cut. All that. Uh, I, I, I'm i very nervous about this because my streak's on the Rhine right here. Uh, first two races I've won. And expectations, I'm just hoping to get a good... One. Sports welcomes you to the Michigan 250 for the NASCAR Bush Series at the Michigan International Speedway. This wide and fast track provides some of the most exciting NASCAR racing of the year with some of the closest finishes ever seen. Expect to see lots of two and three wide racing as these drivers chase the checkered flag. 250 miles on this two-mile D-shaped track are coming up. We're just moments away from the start of today's race. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I feel like... Uh... The last few races I've seen about Michigan ends up with someone running out of gas. So, pit strategy is going to be a thing. Green flag is in the air. We got 10 laps. I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice these positions. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my goodness. So now I'm dead last. But at least I got what I wanted, right? I think so. Got four seconds. Starting to pick up ground on everybody. Car's a little bit more comfortable. Still sliding up the racetrack. It's just something I'm concerned about. Still feeling a little bit of turning. I may have to pit soon. Just so I can get a head start. Yeah, I'm way too high up here. So round lap five, we're probably going to have to pit. I can hear my tires spinning now. Had to ease up off there so I don't hit the wall. Because if I hit the wall, I'm going to be slowing down badly. Going about 185. 86 top speed 88 I think I'm losing ground but I feel a lot closer at the same time well I'm definitely dropping back now Tank is halfway. I think a couple people are pitting. Oh my goodness. We're five seconds back. I am probably cooked. Oh 
Oh man, that was not good. Right sides, right sides only. Alright, let's see if I could uh, do something special here. We're gonna rig it a little bit. Teehee. Man. Way to use our teammates, am I right? Oh, that's a long line. At least we're somewhat mid-pack. What, 20th? I don't know if we have a shot at racing for the lead. All right, looks like we got a green-white checkered. Whoa. Woo, what a save. That was a hell of a save right there. I think at this point, with the way the car is running, I think mid-pack is fine. If it ends under caution right here, then so be it. However, this is a callback to the one time where it wouldn't end in a green-white checker. Like, yeah, right here, it did not end. So it looks like uh, we'll get another shot at this. Oh my goodness, my car is just horrible. I'm just getting beat. Oh my goodness. One to go. Hey, we might get a pass off. All right. We got one pass. That was probably the best pass we got all day. Granted, we haven't made any passes all day. And side by side. <sighs> yeah, this car was not good for this racetrack. No matter what we did, it was just horrible. Like, no matter what. Yeah, we, we was just, no matter what we did, we was just way too high out there. Uh, 
Oh my goodness. Well, we finished 25th. Our streak ends. A little bit of villainy. What are those shoes, though? Oh, we, we totally missed this altercation. But uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Man, that was a 20-minute race. I mean, we did practice and qualify for a bit, so... Yeah. Oh, looks like we're gonna get a phone call. Hey, dude. I'm just gonna apologize to this guy. I, I really don't care. Let's check out what's see what this is about. This is probably a challenge. Carl Edwards. If you could win the race by two seconds or more at the Food City 250 on Friday, thir I'll make sure you get a driver prestige bonus of 2372. What kind of specific number is this? All right, so it looks like uh, we're going to be at Bristol, so we'll make up for that uh, bad loss there. I should have probably backed out so I could save. Yeah, I should have probably done that. Go ahead and qualify. I mean, Bristol is Bristol. I'm not too concerned. It's been one of those tracks where I've been. I'm 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 big on short track racing, so I don't think it's too much of an issue. Just barely scraped the car. Get off the wall, please. That wall probably cost me. All right, we qualified 16th. Not what I had in mind, but that's my doing. Suspension. Oh, gosh. necessarily be on the pole but if I wanted to make sure that um, I get that two second uh, victory I need to pass a lot of cars quick So we have a conflicting event here, a uh, truck race at Bristol as well. I'm just going to go ahead and race the Bush Series simply because I can, it will be more of a challenge for me and it doesn't really matter. Like I'm not in the playoff picture anyway for either series, but I at least want to be able to race this and then race on Sunday for Bristol for the truck series. Welcome to Bristol Motor Speedway as EA Sports presents today's running of the Food City 250. First opened in 1961, Bristol has played host to some of the sport's most exciting and heated races. This track has torn friendships and fueled rivalries for decades. Tonight's race should offer the same drama we've come to expect here at the world's fastest half mile. I don't know if the 100,000 fans are here today to see some of the best NASCAR Bush Series racing of the year here in Tennessee's Thunder Valley. Let's take you trackside for the most famous words in all of racing. 
Drivers, start your engines. Oh man, I'm on the inside. I totally forgot about that. I gotta let a few cars by. Or just, oh, there goes Shane. Just Shane was a guy that was mad at me in one of my most famous videos on TikTok. Alright, lost the spot. Gonna go three wide here in turn one. Oh, sorry, that's turn three. Whoops. Alright. I'm definitely a short track racer. Oh my goodness, I hurt my own teammate. And don't worry, I, I'll, I'll beat myself up about it. The 103 car gonna have to follow me because uh, I'm trying to win. There we go. Ooh. Still gonna hit the wall. there. Marching. We're now in the top 10. Not really much going on. We'll just keep fighting we'll, before we run out of gas. There we go. Come on, let's go right sides only. Add some wedge. Come on, get in there. That fumble may have costed us. Shouldn't have done that in the turn. Using my teammates. Junior. Oh. 
that didn't seem like something I would throw a caution for, but whatever it takes. Single file restart. I gotta go for it right here. One to go. Just didn't have a lot of time. We got a top 10. He almost had a top 5 too, but... We double failed. Wasn't really classy of us, but... I was just... A we could have had the lead if it weren't for our pit crew. If it was for our pit crew, we would have definitely been at least first for at least a few seconds, but somebody had to fumble the tire. And not really happy about that. Who am I making mad now? Man, four races in and I'm just making everybody mad. Ain't that something? Well, I deserve it. Can't be driving everybody aggressive to make a name for myself, and uh, here we are. Oh, it looks like I got a showdown, too. Didn't think you could pull it off. Shut up. Kerbush, your career is really taking off. If you want to prove yourself, see if you can take me one-on-one. -on -one. I'm looking forward to it. Tyson Golston. If you could finish fifth or better at the O'Reilly 200 by Valvoline Max Life on Sunday, make sure you get a cash bonus of 37k. Alright, fifth or better. Mind you, I'm starting from the back as well. It's always best to apologize. Unless I really deserve it. Sixteen laps at Bristol. Do I get more than a purse? If I place top five. But I got a difficulty uh, modifier on, or I wouldn't say it's an actual modifier, but since I am going to be starting in the back, this is going to be a lot harder. So that is going to be uh, something I will have to deal with. But nonetheless, I am ready to at least give it a shot.
Bristol Motor Speedway heralds itself as the world's fastest half mile. And tonight, these NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series drivers are going to put that motto to the test as they do battle around the 36 degree banks of this short track. Ask any driver and they'll tell you that a win here at Bristol is special. However, if you leave here with your friendships and reputation intact, you might just consider that a victory in itself. Green flag racing is about to begin here in Thunder Valley. There's the challenge. And here's our spot. Whoa, why are you all the way on the inside already? Good gracious, already starting something. All right, we got to march our way up to the front. A little bump there. No big deal. Whoa. Alright, gained six persistence. Six positions I just gained within three laps. This car was made for this. Just got to keep my nose clean. We're moving. Whoa. Well, not expecting that to happen. Whoops. Maybe I should have pitted there. people are pitting. Easy now. Oh. That was an I-O. reality I need to pit bad. Let him go. Right sides, let's go. Let's don't fail me now. We got a whole lap. Oh, come on. This is twice at Bristol.
Oh my goodness. I am so mad. I am so mad. I absolutely hate... My crew chief sold me. My pit my pit crew really sold me right there. I am so mad because I literally was leading. to back races my cr pit crew sold me that was money right there I couldn't do any challenge you don't understand how frustrating that is where you do everything right I had the whole field a lap down I had the entire field a lap down. <sighs> if I could redo that race, I would. Maybe shoot. <sighs> that just annoyed me right there. Like, I literally had that race in my hands. And then my pit crew really screwed me. I mean... Somebody has to get fired. Because all weekend, they ruined it. Let's look at the standings, even though it doesn't matter. I'm probably dead last, still. Oh, I moved. I, I beat, hey, I'm beating Denny Hamlin. I'm beating Denny Hamlin. Look at that. Up, oh, I'm 27th. 28 points back from the top 25. I'm moving up there. Still got a long ways to go. But, uh, not happy. Alright. One last race. The showdown at Devil's Canyon. We have none other than Kurt Busch. Apparently in Australia, Kurt Busch was on the cover of their NASCAR 06 compared to uh, the U.S.'s uh, Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson. Don't ask me why, because I do not know. But I like to keep my streak of 3-0 and in the showdowns. And let's go ahead and get started. Bye. I'm blocking. Yeah, during the showdown, there are no rules. Especially with this busted car. Which, I totally forgot how to race this track. It's been so long. This is like one of the tracks I haven't really seen much of. I mean, I've seen it. I've raced it before. It's just been so long.
the plan was to have them hit that rock. Destroy the car. But, looks like I have a good enough lead where that's not the problem. Until I mess up on here. Speed limit 60, psych. It's a really rocky uh, environment right here. Man, this car is extremely loose. I can't wait to get my own custom car. I had that thing right. Oh, here's Kurt trying to come back. We'll see about that. This car going to be the death of my streak one day. It's not getting by me. We're only a few turns left. Here we go on the home stretch. Got him. Just what we needed. Yeah, that was supposed to happen with uh, Kurt. Anyone need a billboard for lease? And of course, this is how we celebrate. guess that will do it a lot of disappointment this episode let's check our email yes you really do know how to call drive that thing you call a car it's not my car so it's whatever so coming up in our next episode we're gonna be in Richmond for the truck series and then we're going to have to pick our poison on whether or not we race New Hampshire or California. New Hampshire or California. Then again, we go either Vegas or Richmond. I think what's going to end up happening is that I'm going to go New Hampshire here then skip to go Richmond here. But honestly, it really just depends on how I do in the truck series here, because I I might miss... I might go for Vegas just to see if I get back in it. If I don't race it, I think it would hurt me more. And as we head down, we still got October, and we... Don't forget our Wheel and Modified tour. We still got the five laps at Old Spice we gotta do. Then we got the race at RRP, New Hampshire, and the finale at Dodge Raceway, where we might win the, uh, we might go ahead and win the, uh, 
Wheel Modified Tour. So I appreciate everybody for coming out. And if again, if you like this kind of content, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And as always, I'm Freddie J. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. Until next time, we'll see ya.